We have to innovate because if we don't innovate, the world innovates around us and we get left behind. Tonight is the first edition of the Global Business Innovation Conversations for 2019. The conversation had a series of very smart people about what big data means in healthcare and whether it's going to transform the modern healthcare environment. The world's most valuable resource is not longer oil, but data. It provides us with so many great opportunities to improve. We are still at this exploring stage of data into health technology. It's part of the way towards a solution. Um, it isn't the solution. There is an increased need for training among healthcare professionals about data quality and how to use data. Data is a mechanism which we could use to make a difference. And at the same time, create great opportunities for innovation. Innovation is happening at a very fast pace in the environment. Every new day there is something happening. It was made clear this evening, maybe the law is not yet in advance uh, and ready to handle this kind of questions. Law is very slow to keep up with innovation. We don't have the luxury of uh, reflecting and debating or moving through a legislative process. To just stick our head in the sand means that we don't innovate and we actually have to innovate. It's a complex issue, but we have leads in how we can tackle it. What we try to do with the panel today is basically bring together future implications, industry, government and researchers, so people know each other, they know that what's happening in the space, and they also know what RMIT is doing through our research, but also for our collaborative work. I don't believe you can truly be successful at innovation if you don't have a diversity of lens around your problem. You can't serve a really heterogeneous population if you have a homogenous development team. No time has it been more important for all of us to be engaged in enterprises that share this knowledge and empower the, the end user. Most grand challenges actually require multidisciplinarity and interdisciplinarity. Because not one group will ever have all the answers. It's the power of the collective. It takes experts from ethics, from technology, from innovation side, from really different angles and different disciplines. And the more that we can see that happening across all disciplines, and especially in the context of asking these very impossible questions, I think that gets us at least part of the way there. It's been a very good turnout and I think the vibe was very positive. We had almost a full room, 100 delegates. It's actually great to expose these kind of things to the external environment. It has an impact for society, it doesn't stay only within an academic world. So when you're innovating, it might feel impossible right now, but you never know when the next cascade of change will come. How we behave impacts the lives of our children and our children's children, so we have a responsibility. If each of us think of what could be the desirable future, it's up to us to design that.